Liquid sulfur goes to the sulfur burner, 01R1, by precise measurement and fully combusts with dry air for generating SO2. After cooling by SO2 cooler, 01E1, SO2 gas goes to the first layer of converter, 01R3, which has four layers of catalyst of vanadium pentoxide. The reactions are highly exothermic, and the temperature should be controlled strictly. The final conversion rate after multiple catalyst layers is equal to or greater than 98%. SO3 gas is cooled by cooling air through tubular heat exchanger, 01E2 and 01E3. After heat exchanging, the hot air generated in this process is collected and goes to waste heat recovery units to produce steam and hot water. The secondary hot air will be used for silica gel regeneration and scrubber wastewater evaporation and crystallization in Unit 38. No external steam and hot water is needed for the whole plant. After cooling, SO3 gas gets diluted and goes to sulfonation or sulfation unit. Cooling SO3 gas will produce oleum which will be collected in the oleum tank 01V2. In addition, we can also replace the SO2 cooler and SO3 cooler with fire tube boilers so as to produce steam directly, which is more efficient, and the amount of steam obtained will be doubled. Surplus steam can be used to drive lithium bromide chiller. This new technology will help the whole plant to save 15% electricity consumption.